Hi, Sam Toba, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we have our next viewer request, a congregational song from the Pentecostal Church, The Windows of Heaven Are Open in the Key of B-Flat. How is everyone doing today? As you know, we've been talking about the Nashville number system, and we're going to begin to integrate some of that talk in our lessons, especially in the congregational song standpoint. So first of all, let's get going. Windows of Heaven are open in the key of B flat. We have to open up with our scale. Just one octave and back down. And for first, we're going to introduce the Nashville number system to see how those chords would fit, starting with the root. That's the one, a minor, that's the two, a minor, that's the three, a major, that's the four, a major, that's the five, a minor, that's the six, a seventh, and that's as far as we go. We go back to the, the root. So that's the Nashville system. Now, what can we, how can we integrate the, this melody into that system? We have to first find our melody in the scale. The windows of heaven are open. So there's our melody. The fire is falling outside of the melody. Okay, using the Nashville system, We can be in the one. We'll give our bass to give, our, give us our one. We can put the four in there. Back to, the, back to the one. So we use. We could have gone to the natural um, progression chord in the natural system. the chords fit. This is a song that is a popular, um, I'll call it a, an actual up-tempo song written in a jazz format. So it's in that, in that vein, which means the Nashville chords will fit. So here we go, the melody. And we're going to what I call expand the Nashville chords to help give you that, that a, a basis for being able to build upon the melody. So we're going to go rather than here for the Nashville chord, we're going to drop it here. The one, two, one, one, two. We're going to go to the four, except now I'm using a seventh, which we haven't covered yet in our breakdown of the Nashville chords that's coming on our next lesson. So you're getting an overview of what the next lesson is coming. And we'll stay right there in the four. Back to the one. Again, and a seven, that's a one with a seventh chord. This is what we covered on the, the other night. Four, here comes the diminish. One, six, one. That's a summary of how the Nashville chords would fit in that song. But of course, when we're going to the gospel side of things, we're going to sweeten up the, the chord structure. So here's what I'm going to give you. Again, melody at the top, but you don't always have to do melody when you know where your chords are going to fall. Those are, that's where your chords are going to fall. Believe it or not, I'm scripting in my head Sam's 
number system, which is going to contain chords. That's going to be my number system. I am scripting it in my head now. It will be on my lex on, on the next lesson I do. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Now, the umpa is a marching band sound with the bass. to four. The four and the three. The one four. That's the four. Measure. Two, six. So it's the one five. This is how you're going to get into that song. The melody. Scales on the right hand. Two, six. That's why the scales are so important, because you're going to base your chords off the path of the scale. So that gets you really into the song. Let's give you some more gospel of it. We're going to turn around here. The windows of heaven are open. So now I've introduced all of the trickery, if you want to call it that, all the magic that goes around knowing where you're going to go. The windows, you're going to walk it right up. Love, heaven, uh, open. Turn around. We're going to learn these chords in the future. The fire is falling tonight. You know it's going to go to that F chord. So if you're so if you're comfortable in the F, in F. Now we're in the key of F, the four. Jazz. All these turnarounds to get you from one part of the song, from joy. Joy, joy in my soul. Mm -hmm. Turn everything right, diminish to five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, right? Because that's F. We allowed that. Once you learn all the chords and all the keys, you're at liberty to borrow them where you need them. I I gave him my old filthy garment. Just walking up, and he gave me. Here's your nice full jazz chord. This is elements of E flat and A flat. Cordiac calls it an A major seven nine. The minute you add the lowest note, everything changes. 
as you pick up notes, the names change. But this is a nice full chord that you can, again, introduce in the midst of the song. Gave me a roll of pure white. Nice five. Or if you're in the key of E flat, two, five, one. In E flat now. But because we're in A flat, because we're in B flat, it just becomes, again, E flat is part of the A flat. Hmm, get my words right. E flat is part of the B flat scale. So I said you can borrow changes that would be common in E flat. A pure white. Again, give me some nice full chord. Straight diminished. I can. Who's diminished is it? It could be a C diminished, but the minute you add another note, it becomes that family of diminished chords. Why? They're all in the same family of diminished chords. Goodness, when I start covering all these different chords, you're going to see where they all are in the, they're all cousins to everyone else. It's called this here. The minute you change the lowest note, or the grandfather, as you want to call it the family, the note name changes, but it's just a inversion of it. that chord. Resolve. That is why I'm half C7. Put that, put that um, lower note there. It changes. Okay, you take away all the chords, the name changes. All right. That's your lesson on the windows of heaven are open. See you on the next one.